First off, let me say this. If you see some tires on your road, or tires on the side of the road anyway, then you know, bro, you must stay away from that, that, that section. Tomorrow is going down for down for down. It's going down for real, for real, for real. So don't play. If, if you have to go to work, guys, be safe. If you have to be out there somewhere, be safe. Because I can tell you for sure, if you, you, you're going to hear in these clips, there are some things that have been said about what's going to happen tomorrow. But, bro, if you know what's good for you and you don't have to leave the joint, leave the house, stay at home. But let's go and check what we all managed to, what I managed to check in, um, on social media, my bad. We, we can't take responsibility for things we have not sanctioned. We have not sanctioned mm. violence. Mm. It is the responsibility of the law enforcement. Assertions that he's making, right? He's saying, should there be violence on Monday, the EFF leadership will have to take responsibility. Yes, no, How do you respond to I, that? I didn't hear that in that clip, but yeah. um, the, we, we can't take responsibility for things we have not sanctioned. We have not sanctioned mm. violence. Mm. It is the responsibility of the law enforcement to always maintain uh, peace and yeah. order in society yeah. well within the marches and pickets of the EFF there will be uh, marshals there will be security yeah. to make sure that agent provocateurs are isolated and are hand delivered by the EFF to the authorities yeah. you are not going to fail and remember we are not going to start at 8 o'clock in the morning 12 o'clock start to, I mean uh, the 20th starts at 12 midnight the preparations must be made from Yo. midnight. By Bra the time the people wake up, everything is happening. You, you can't be They're angry, able though. to take pictures and send to their bosses. So it's not going to happen today. I think the EFF and everybody else who's joined that are perfectly entitled to that, uh, to demonstrate and so on. But I think the point that has been made... Uh, that we should avoid all violence and things like that. And I watched a little bit when uh, Julius talked about the demonstrations yesterday and himself made this commitment that they don't want violence. Mm, mm. And if there's any violence that happens, that it would have been provoked by somebody else. Mm. I think that common commitment by the people, the organizers, and the rest of the country is correct. By all means, I think people yeah, should pe demonstrate people if they want angry, to demonstrate. Bro on whatever the issue but let's avoid this kind of unnecessary conflict the country doesn't need it i will be the tourist to list if that march gets one degree lax out of the legal line i will personally be there i will personally be there to make sure that julius goes behind bars mark my words i will be there and Julius can go on and on and say that if that boy comes and he tries to stop me, he'll meet his maker. Julius, I don't go around with, with blue lights and bodyguards. And let me tell you, if, Ju if Julius will be at that match for whatever reason, at any given point on the street, he will be surrounded by bodyguards. By bodyguards. Now, the long and short of it is that a message to Manto, Julius' wife, do not worry. We will continue to take of you with Julius behind bars. Yo. Last remark, you and Danda Lux on each other's throats. What's the deal there? Can't you pull together and, and, and with, with the pe people of your kind of uh, influence and stature to work together towards resolving problems that are affecting your constituency, which is truly joined, if, I, if one may say. Who's that? Yeah, there's way two people. Or, no, no, I'm saying, or, who are you talking about? <laughs> Who's that? It's my next guest, Danda Lux. Oh, yeah, I don't know those things. <laughs> I'm international. You, you. But you, you do know. No, what I'm international. Cuba. If you go there and say Julius Malema. Have you ever met and talked with him? I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> I have no time for things. I've got time for beings. Twentieth, people must go to school. The children must go to work. Huh? Malema and his party can protest. There's no problem about it. We are not going to any school, <laughs> and there are no children who are going to any work here. <laughs> <laughs> there is no water in Twani. There is no diesel for the buses of Twani. And that is happening under the DA government. If it was an EFF government, me and you will not be sleeping. All the clever blacks will be shouting all the insults in the book against the EFF because it's a black government but because that is a white man's government 
they don't say anything so the picket lines are calling whether they like it or not on the 20th of march south africa will come to a standstill we require nobody's permission to occupy the streets of south africa to demand the release of the president and to demand that we switch on south africa the 20th of march nothing must move and look except emergency services EFF is the only party they can all serious. say the nonsense they want to say we are not hearing them we are not listening to them we are listening to the cries of our people our people are saying the EFF is being called upon so we must show them that even this new ANC that they say it is our match is nothing Mbalula is nothing he won't do anything if anything he will be begging us that please comrades let, let's try to do it in a responsible manner he can say the nonsense he says there on tv he will never stop the eff no one can stop the eff even that's a way to no one can stop the eff no. that's why all of them are now talking if we were nothing and when not anything to be taken serious why are they all now out of their cocoon and speaking it is because the leader of society has spoken that's why they are all now speaking because there is only one leader of society only when the eff speaks the country shakes they are all clownish i listen to them all of them when they speak we don't shake I'm going to be president of this country, whether you like it or not. And I'll preside over the affairs of this country, including presiding over you. I think you must start adjusting to that reality. The sooner you do that, the less chest pains you'll have when that reality comes. What chest pains would you resolve? Racist chest pains. Would your members be taking part in the EFF section on Monday? No, we certainly would not be part uh, of that. If taxi association is... Um, do what's you... going to happen if EFF members try and block roads on Monday? Well, obviously, if they do that, that will be sheer anarchy. Then the law enforcement agencies must come to play. Will your members try and continue anyway? Well, our members have been, uh, you know, told to be vigilant, look out for the safety of our passengers, our drivers, and our vehicles on Monday. So we will be vigilant. We will be looking out for, for our businesses. Um, do you believe then, as a general principle, that roads should be kept open? Well, we all have a right to go about our economic activities. No one has a right to stop us from going about our businesses. So in other words, no one should block roads? No one. And if they do, then because we are ruled by law, then the law must uh, be enforced. Um, are you worried about a potential for violence on Monday? Well, uh, it could be that, you know, while one is a little bit, uh, you know, uh, disturbed by this, you know, because this is not the only way of uh, resolving the problems that we are faced with as a country. But uh, if these guys are going to go out and become violent, then, uh, you know, then I guess law enforcement must come to the fore and we would not fold our arms. And, I, and we, not that we, you know, advocating for countering violence with violence but we just want to see our operations being seamless our passengers being safe and uh, our drivers as well where exactly did you hear them say that they will for example be damaging property um, and uh, prohibiting businesses from uh, operating on the day of the 20th when exactly did you hear them and what exactly did they say exactly well, the EFF leader himself uh, just yesterday was on the radio calling on all businesses to close down. The EFF have been visiting businesses around the country, telling them that they don't close, they're going to be looted. They even served a notice on OR Tambo International Airport saying that if they don't shut down the airport on the day, there are going to be consequences. There's loud hailing taking place in a variety of communities, and all of these are obviously being sent through to public representatives by very worried citizens who are petrified that this is going to be a spark that sees what happened in KwaZulu-Natal in July 
turning into something that takes place at a national level. And so we are taking preemptive measures to try and avoid a repeat of what happened in July in KZN on a national scale. And then we protect the lives, livelihoods, and both private and public infrastructure from potential damage. That was hectic. Listen, guys, I, look, this is my opinion, right? Everybody is feeling cutful about how things are going in the country. Everyone. There's not one South African who's content. But there's no one really doing anything about it. And people have a problem with the EFF doing it. I'm not an EFF supporter, but I'm not against them protesting because when is it going to end, bruh? No lights every day. Uh, load shedding. The no lights every day, load shedding. Corruption. Um, mismanagement. Economic decline. No jobs. Unemployment. All that stuff, bruh. Nobody's complaining. Nobody. No, everybody's complaining, but nobody's doing anything about it. As soon as Julius and them say something, I want to do something, then they're now labeled that way, like they're going to do something wrong. Secondly, what I'm scared of the most is that y'all know for a fact that our our police service or SAPs and our army is not that. It's not that. They're not those guys, you know. But we know that the Taxi Association is for real. They're not for playing. Those guys are not for playing. You, we know it. South African Taxis Association or the South African Taxis, they are they should be the military in the country. They can put stop nonsense anywhere. And you all know that stop nonsense will happen anywhere. But I don't know what to expect tomorrow. I just hope you guys stay safe. Uh, try to minimize the movement. You, you never know what can happen. It, it sounds like it's going to be a peaceful vibe. Hopefully they don't get hopefully they don't get provoked into something more. But yeah, let's just let's just take back, take a step back and check what happens. But yeah, until tomorrow. I know this wasn't a funny video. It's, there's nothing funny about this. I think we all can agree that something needs to be done, and at least this is a step in the right direction where we have some people who are willing to go against the the um, the current, so to speak, to to do what's necessary. Uh, I think also EFF's tactics haven't been that great in the past. They don't have a track record of being of being trustworthy when it comes to being in the public, you know, versus versus kind of thing. Uh, but let's hope Julius had two months basically to pre prepare this. So hopefully he he's got everything on point and then they can demonstrate peacefully and maybe we can get some. This is the only language that our government understands is protest. And, and Malema knows that. He even said that in other interviews. He knows that the only solution that, well, the only response he will get is through him also being a bit aggressive. But anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to share that, my opinion on what's happening tomorrow, because it affects all of us, even those who are not in South Africa. So, till tomorrow, stay safe, guys. Peace out.